Night Force number six, written by Marv Wolfman, art by Tom Mandrake. Last issue left off with uh, some of the crew being set in the fire and then Baron Winters being trapped in the past in the old insane asylum. So remember how I said last issue or maybe the issue before was the explanation issue? This one is like the double explanation issue because there was still machinations behind the machinations. So that crazy lady... I think her name was Cassandra, who was in the insane asylum that they went and visited. Turns out she is a witch, and she knows magic and such. And during all the visits that Baron Winters had been coming, she had been sucking up ever so slightly pieces of his soul and the souls of everyone else who's been arriving, until finally she had enough power to escape. And she was able to escape from her binds, and she was attacking all the people um, who were down in her cell. She still couldn't, like, leave leave for whatever reason, but regardless, she had uh, taken the lives of pretty much everyone who was down there. So, because this was back in the 1600s of Britain, like, they were like, oh, we must tear down that insane asylum and send them somewhere else. We can't even bear to look at it. So they sent her to Barbados in 1751, where she was, once again, just put into... A prison but they were like well she says she's been here for 13 years she's clearly crazy but she says she was just arrested for like stealing a loaf of bread so she's we need room in the jail and she's probably not going to be a thing so go ahead and send her out into the world so they send this woman out into the world and she immediately feels the dormants of her thing so here's the here's here's the thing the creatures that we're generating here are called darklings humans by their standards are called extincts and the entire goal here is that they're trying to breed these darklings to become more and more strong over periods of time so back in the 1700s she sees that there was a dormant strong not like first generation one in george washington and so despite the fact that george washington's brother was dying of some illness george himself was going to be protected by her magic so that he can give a first generation one. So this town in Barbados she's in, she uses her magic to wipe the town off the map and kill everybody inside so that all evidence that she ever existed would also be wiped. And with every person she killed, she absorbed their soul and became younger until finally she looked like the woman who's been running the whole show to begin with. She's some ancient witch person who traveled through time, I guess. There's a lot of confusing stuff here. Regardless, going back to what happened was they got a Generation 1. Turns out George Washington was infertile, but Thomas Jefferson had a baby with a slave, and that was a Generation 1. And they all look like little lizard creatures. So whenever this happens, the nurses have to come out, and like she just spent her time getting nurses, doing whatever, in order to make sure that these babies weren't immediately killed when they came out, like that they could be taken by their group and groomed into like actual people who can further their causes so i don't even know the best way to say this so anyway at a certain point they have their hunter go and sneak into baron winter's place and then use his magic to expel out all of these hunters that are actually inside of him, because they're all just like shadow demons, and use the manor to travel through time and thus have the hunters always ready at every point necessary in time. So they use the manor to make it so that time has always worked for them. And basically, they keep on trying to get to a generation 12. Because as they keep on breeding these things, they have fewer and fewer subjects that aren't being inbred. So by the time they hit like a generation eight or nine, they're coming up as just completely worthless. But finally, they're getting a perfect generation 10. And the generation 10s are going to basically all be in politics so that they can move public perception to where they need to be and then generation 11s are going to like tear apart families and then generation 12s are going to come in and make all the humans extinct that's the plan this is the full explanation so now that we've got all that she's like yeah so we've managed to move through time and everything's working right on schedule and we are just like three steps away because baron winters is now trapped in the past so we don't have anything to worry about him so at that point we then have a uh, cut to baron in 
London, England, where Baron Winters is setting up a pentagram out of bodies that were left inside of the cell, and he's using a little bit of residue magic that was left in the cell in order to cause a spell that can get them back through time. And of course, it works, and he ends up back in time, or back to modern day, and he's like, yeah, okay, we're here, but I am swamped, and I know the night force is in trouble, but I genuinely cannot be asked to help, so good luck to him. But then we cut to the building that's on fire, and the firemen have arrived, and apparently there are uh, three bodies inside, a man, a woman, and a child, and he keeps on, you have a voice yelling from the background like, please help, we're in here, you have to come get us. So the firemen make their way back, and they find the weird little lizard-looking baby, but they're like, okay, well, we gotta save it anyway, so they save the man, woman, and the child, and they bring it out to some gurneys outside, and they're like, okay ignoring the weird lizard baby for a second we heard three voices inside but when we got back there they were all unconscious like who are we talking to and when they look back at the gurneys they see that they're all empty and baron winters turns out he actually was willing to help and he got uh the three of them out of the burning building and saved for whatever purpose he has in the final issue coming up okay I am glad they took the time to really just nail down, here's exactly what the plan is. Because whereas I got the explanation as to what the roles were and what people were doing beforehand, I didn't quite understand the why. I didn't think we were going to get this issue. I thought I just had to like roll with it and then eventually in the final issue they'd be like, oh yeah, so a ridiculously circuitous plan is thus. But they didn't. I mean, they did, because like literally the entirety of the issue was being told from the framing device of that woman, Cassandra, just like talking to her minions. So yes, it was actually the just explaining the device. But regardless of that, it was a majority of the issue. So I, I was given time to process, okay, here's what happened, here's how we did it. It's still very confusing to me, and I'm not entirely sure I understand the all the ins and outs of it, but it's better. It's 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 understandable now to some extent that was always my problem with it so overall i'm gonna go ahead and say six for this one and honestly that feels a little bit high but i'm gonna stick with it i think this one it did its best and it just explained everything out as best it could it it may have been a little flawed and it's having to have an entire issue of just explaining the entirety of the plot for the whole series but I'm glad that I had it. I think that that's, it's better that we had it than we didn't. I just wish we didn't have to have it to begin with.